Creating a visual content project in Pictochart is super easy. You don't need any design experience. In just a short time, you can create professional looking infographics, presentation, report, social media graphics, or a printable. Just watch, and I will show you how it works. After you log in, the first thing you will see is your temple dashboard. This is where you can select a previously saved project or create a new project. You start by selecting a format on the left side of the screen. The format defines the size of your output. You can choose between predefined formats like infographics, presentations, posters, reports, flyers, or social media. Or you can opt in for a custom size and start from a blank template. Once you decide on the format, just search or browse through the templates list. Clicking the preview on a template will help you to find exactly the one you want to use. Be on a sharp lookout for what matters the most for your content project, structure or layout, explaining the process or visualizing a set of data. Let's go ahead and select this template called Annual Dashboard Report. Just click Create and start editing your template. Once you are situated in the picture chart editor, you will see that it will be super easy to customize your chosen template. The formatting is already taken care of for you. You just need to go and change the text to fit your needs, and change colors on the canvas using our color palette or your own next values. If staying on brand is important to you, make sure that you set up your brand assets. You can do so under your profile in the top right corner. Expand the drop down and select brand assets. Drag your logo or a screenshot of your website to automatically extract your brand colors. Do you want to use your company's fonts? No problem, you can upload them here as well. After you set this up, your custom color palette and uploaded fonts will always be accessible in the editor when you start working on any new project. Changing up a template is exactly how you will turn one of our templates into your own creation. Replace the current icons with icons, illustrations, or photos of your own choosing. You can choose from millions of free and ready-to-use photos from our Splash library, or you can go for unique icons and illustrations available in Pictochart's library. If you are still struggling to find the icon or photo that you want, there is no need to worry. You can easily upload your own images, brand logos, or icons here by clicking on the Upload section. You can see how quickly I'm changing this template to reflect the exact project I'm going for. Let's go ahead and clone this block to add another section to this project. Remember to hold Shift when clicking to select two or more elements on the canvas. And finally, our tools are intended to provide data visualization to back up whatever story you are trying to tell. Here, in our charts feature, all you need to do is simply plug in or import your data. Link up an Excel or Google Sheet file to easily create graphs that automatically update when your data does. Choose your tie tab and off you go. You can choose many variations of charts like this icon matrix where you can portray your data with an icon of your choosing. Besides, you can also include any video link from YouTube or Vimeo. Simply click on Tools from your left tab and choose Videos. You can then copy and paste the video link and it will automatically be added to your blog. To speed up the process, you can use our design components too. We have many components already designed for you. You just have to select the one you need and customize it. You will notice that if you're using Pictures are right, everything should be falling into place with relative ease and speed. The changes you are making are pretty straightforward and clear because you're using templates that were developed by professional designers. Our editor does creative work for you. All you have to do is customize your template to your needs. 
PictoChar has an auto-saving feature that will auto-save your visual regularly while you're making the edits. But to be sure, let's save our visual by clicking the save button. Once you're done making edits to your project, there are a few things you can do with it. You can also download your project as an image, PDF or PowerPoint and share it as an attachment in email. Some of the formats can also be printed from your desktop. Alternatively, you can publish by clicking on the share button. Publishing your project will generate a custom link that you can share to your audience and give them permissions to see your project. Simply open the link in any browser like Chrome, Mozilla or Safari and it will bring you to your project page. If you want to present your project during a virtual call webinar or in an in-person presentation, you can use the link to flip through each blog as if they were slides. If your project is private and should only be shared with eligible stakeholders, take advantage of the password protection. Create a password to protect the privacy of your work. Last but not least, you can also embed your project to your website or blog by choosing the embed option. And if you're in the project plan, you can share your project with your stakeholders, allowing them to comment on it and edit it with you together in real time. There is plenty more to learn about PictoChar and creating visual projects. So play around and have some picto fun. We're always here to help and willing to answer any question you may have. So jump right in and get started with creating your project. Thanks and happy picto charting.